One of the goals of our NA-156 expedition surveying deep sea geology around the main Hawaiian islands is to test a new piece of ocean exploration technology, a wide field camera array designed to peek into the deep sea. We're testing this new technology by visualizing a variety of complex underwater terrains throughout the Hawaiian archipelago, including cliffs, pinnacles, and the active submarine volcano Kamaahua Kanaloa Seamount. This system, which we affectionately call Triclops due to it being comprised of three cameras, is mounted on remotely operated vehicles such as ROV Hercules to gather immersive imagery of the deep sea. Co-developed by the Ocean Exploration Trust and Sexton Corporation, with funding from the Office of Naval Research, Triclops helps us visualize the world beneath the waves like never before in near real time. Jonathan here, I've been the cinematographer and the lead for the development of our new wide field camera array. And I'd like to take you on a journey of how we go from advanced cameras to the deep sea and all the way back to be creating virtual worlds and three-dimensional models that will inform future things like virtual reality or building real-time 3D games where you can explore along with us in a truly lifelike simulator. So uh, come along with me on this journey today. I'll take you over to the cameras, we'll review a little bit of footage, and then we'll talk about a little bit of the fascinating process of creating 3D models based off of undersea imagery. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the back deck. All right, a couple hours later, and we're getting ready to launch the, uh, what is this, like the fifth uh, dive? Worth Lost We've lost track of count. Every single time we're making very slight adjustments to the camera system. Slight adjustments. Just very tight. So, Dan, what are some of the challenges here to integrating and testing a camera like this? Uh, some of the biggest challenges are finding a way to mount the camera where it satisfies all the requirements of the dive, but doesn't impact our ability to operate the ROV safely. So this time we've actually mounted the two stereo cameras there in parallel. They're actually on this hydraulic actuator that can push the cameras back and forth to get them safe. The other element that we've done is we fully integrated the center cinema camera to be this top-down view for some of our photogrammetry elements. I think that we've checked out all of the power. We're ready to go. So, Everything go. is pinging. We're happy. <laughs> We're happy. All right, so we're here in the control van. It's been about 10 days. We're diving off the cliffs of Molokai. And we're really seeing this camera in action right now. It designed this camera to do two things really well, to collect that immersive media for dome theater projection, for IMAX, and of course, to make these 3D models. We're going to be using the Triclops wide camera array to take really good pictures of this feature from all different angles to then align these images in a program called Reality Capture that will allow us to make a 3D model of everything that we're seeing up to the fine detail. So this way we can print these models so if somebody who can't actually see what we're seeing with their eyes can actually feel and understand what we're looking at here. So down to the coral even we can print these models and get a better understanding of how they look um, as well as upload them to this program called Cesium Ion which is similar to Google Earth and we can zoom in all the way down to the depths of the ocean exactly where we saw this feature and get to see what it looks like and remember where it is. Really exciting stuff, but it's important to remember that none of that is revolutionary, right? Photogrammetry is a normal tool. Recording for IMAX is uh, relatively uh, straightforward in terms of specifications. But the challenges of the deep sea and working along an eight kilometer tether means that we care more about process how to integrate this into the system and how to process things efficiently than we do necessarily about the tech, even though I love this camera system and we're so proud of actually making it happen. So what you see around you is, is the sum of all of that. Um, the Office of Naval Research funded this system not to have just a great camera, but for us to prove that we can apply production-ready tools that already exist to make some incredible products to communicate what we do to a broader audience and to produce some genuinely innovative science based off of the cameras themselves. But again, this really isn't just about the tech. It's about the people, it's about the process. So one of the things I um, really love is every day after we record all of this data, we all sit down together in the data lab, taking the volume of information we're doing 
getting it to uh, the kind of virtual reality 3D models that uh, we're excited to share online. Hey everybody, this is Zach down in the Data Lab. Um, and what we're doing down here is we're taking all of the images and video that we get on the dives um, and using it for photogrammetry. So if you see here on the screen, this is what the images look like that we're collecting on the dives. From there, using this program, you'll see it turns into these three-dimensional models. So this one right now is still developing, but all these little triangles you see are all individual photos. And so what we do is we put the 2D photos and we overlap them um, and essentially they become a 3D model for us where we can interact with it, we can observe it, we can use it for other visuals as well, such as um, virtual reality and things of that sort also. You know, this whole system is built to visualize the world in a different way. And all of this is because actually Dr. Dr. Ballard's vision to really reveal the deep water world to kids and future oh, yeah. scientists. And this is this is the natural evolution of that vision of, of being able to explore new ways to see the world. We are proud to have deployed a camera capable of recording discoveries with the highest production quality available for deep ocean exploration. And we can't wait to continue sharing its evolution with the world.